Only two more sleeps until the 50th annual TV Week Logies and one nominee who has some tough competition for a silver for most popular actress is Simone Jade McKinnon, best known and loved as Stevie Hall in McLeod's Daughters. I caught up with Simone last week to see, amongst other things, how she rates her chances. McLeod's Daughters has certainly established itself as one of the most popular dramas. What do you think it is that draws people in? Oh, wow. Um, I guess, you know, it's, it's, it's the, the heart of the show, the, the women working on the farm. I mean, women love to watch women working like that. Men love to watch women working like that. <laughs> um, and it's just, you know, it's just a good family show for young and old and it's, uh, it's sad that it's, it's gone. But it's proving popular overseas too, isn't it? It is. Look, most of my fan mail comes from Germany of all places. Aye, uh, so, you know, but it, it, it's a great, it's a, it, it shows Australia in a different way that a, a lot of other countries haven't seen, so. You play Stevie on the show. Tell us a little bit about the character and more importantly, what we can expect coming up. I can't tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, oh, up and coming episodes. Well, Alex leaves, so whichever way he goes, obviously, is going to be horrid. It, it, whether he walks away or, you know, whatever he does, it's going to be sad for the viewers. Um, but Stevie is pregnant, so that's good news. I can't tell you if she has a boy or a girl. <laughs> oh. She has a baby, <laughs> so that's good too. McLeod's Daughters is set on a stunning property near Gawler, around about an hour from Adelaide. About an hour, yep. And good traffic. You love Adelaide so much you've bought a property down there. I have, yeah. So I first bought a little stone cottage in Gawler when I first moved there, a little tiny 1880s one, which is adorable, but I found a 80-acre um, horse stud a month before the show got axed. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, bummer. <laughs> but it's awesome. I don't care. If I get to live the dream for like a year, then I'm stoked. And if I have to sell it, I sell it. But I'm going to try and keep it. I guess you're no stranger to horse riding then. So the show must have been great for you to uh, ex extend on that. It's a dream, a dream role for me. I, I don't think I'll ever get anything that will match, you know, my time on the clouds ever. Pretty close-knit family, cast and crew. Yeah, well, you have to be when you're stuck down there. <laughs> You've been nominated for a Silver Logie this year. That's very exciting. It is. Is it a dream waiting to be fulfilled? To win a Logie? Oh, um, oh, of course, it would be nice to have one of those, but, you know, whatever. It's great just to be nominated. I'm really stoked. I'm stoked for the show, too. Because you don't think you're going to win, do you? I'm so not going to win. <laughs> Why do you say that? <laughs> because there's Kate Ritchie, <laughs> who will win, or Lisa McKeown, who also could very well win. Natalie Blair, she's a gold. And then there's me and Magda, so I don't know. <laughs> I reckon me and Magda are like a little bit of the ring-ins. <laughs> We've also seen you on the Wind Network with our fisherman, Rob Paxavanas. Oh, we love Rob. Rob's a little spunk, isn't he? <laughs> And you were swimming with the dolphins. I got to swim with the dolphins, I got to swim with the cuttlefish, and I got to reel in some massive snapper. Wyala is the place to go for snapper. What's great about Wyala? I don't know, it's a little tiny town, and I, I guess it was, you know, working with Rob and Ted, and that was, that was the fun part, just and doing those things that we got to do. It is with a touch of sadness that the show finishes, but what's next for you? I don't know. Fingers crossed something comes up. Otherwise I'd just be down there cleaning those troughs. Because <laughs> you trained as a ballerina. Yeah, but I'm a bit old to go back to my dancing. <laughs> I'm 35 now, so I mean that would take a lot of work to do anything like that again. Yeah, that's, no, that's not going to happen. Maybe teaching. What would you teach? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Teaching some kind of dance, I'd make up my own style. <laughs> I can't do hip hop, that's for sure. <laughs> um, I don't know, it'd have to be a basic jazz class, I guess. And you're in Baywatch Down Under? <laughs> yeah, no, Bay Baywatch Down Under was awesome. Uh, Baywatch in the Hawaii was awesome. I mean, I got taken out of, you know, out of Sydney. I was waiting tables and, you know, doing a couple of commercials and got whisked off to to live in Hawaii on Waikiki Beach in the Hilton Hawaiian Village when they gave me like a sports car to drive and you know I had 180 degree views of it was an awesome experience.
so I can't knock it. No. And I learnt a lot. You know, that was my first gig, so I, I, I learnt a lot just about cameras and all of that. Was Pamela Anderson in the show then? No, she wasn't. I just had the Hoff. <laughs> Me and the Hoff. <laughs> What's the Hoff like? The Hoff's actually cool. Yeah. He is. He's not... He, this was before his... Um, his drunken stage, I guess. He was he was all very professional when I worked with him, and he didn't party, he didn't do any of that. So, I don't know, I guess it was because the show finished. He went on a, a downward spiral. But I hear he's doing better. I hope he's doing better. If you could wave a magic wand for a dream role, what would it be? Hmm. Oh, look, I, I'll take anything right now. <laughs> Anything's good. <laughs> Works work, you know? Anything, something with animals again would be good, you know. But I don't know about that. I don't know. No, anything. I'll take anything. <laughs> Thanks, Simone. I'll keep everything crossed for the Logies on Sunday. Oh, I, yes, okay. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I'll see you there. Okay. Thanks, Simone. Thank you. <laughs>